What's happening, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this segment, we are going to talk about Robert the Reaper Whitaker versus Marvin Vittori. Looks like this one is possible. It might go down. Let's get into it. All right, so starting with Marvin Vittori, he's 28 years old, 6 feet tall, 74 inch reach, mixed martial arts record, 18 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw. He has a brown belt in BJJ. He's a very big middleweight, very strong guy. He has solid striking. He can certainly hurt you with the shots. His ground game is really formidable and quite possibly overlooked, which is puzzling. He has quite a few submission wins on his record, but a lot of people view Vittori as mostly a striker. That's because he likes to walk guys down, bang it out. But if Vittori gets you down, his physicality and strength are an issue. Pretty effective BJJ and grappling combined with his physicality. He kind of brutes takedowns. And he's a super tough individual. Marvin Vittori is a handful pretty much for any middleweight. Moving on to Robert the Reaper Whitaker, of course, former UFC middleweight champ. Robert is 31 years old, 5'11", 73 inch reach, mixed martial arts record, 23 wins, 6 losses. BJJ black belt, he's well versed in every facet of MMA, very mentally tough, awesome movement and footwork, mixes things up beautifully. That's like one of Whitaker's strongest attributes. The way he mixes up the striking with the grappling and the whole package as far as MMA. Right now, it seems like the only person he can't get past is Izzy. All right, guys, so the matchup. This might be a really quick breakdown because flat out 100%, I favor Robert Whitaker. I think he's the more complete fighter. I think he puts things together better. I think he has higher fight IQ. I'm going to give the movement and speed to Robert Whitaker. The diversity on the feet, the striking to Whitaker. The pure brute strength got to go to Vittori. I do think Vittori is a stronger individual. Chin, Vittori. But Whitaker is very tough. He could take a big shot. Grappling skill. This one's kind of tricky because Vittori is a big, strong guy. And that might give him some kind of advantage in the grappling. Not quite sure though. I think their skills are comparable. Might even lean towards total skill with Whitaker. But the grappling might be a stalemate. I don't think Vittori is going to be able to take Robert Whitaker down. I do think it's possible Whitaker takes Vittori down. I think this fight for the most part would be a striking battle. And if it's a striking battle, I have to go with a faster quicker fighter with better footwork, better defense, Robert Whitaker. I think Whitaker's in and out style is very well suited to defeat Vittori on the feet. I can see him pumping that jab, throwing those low kicks, darting and attacking, taking an angle, darting out to avoid Vittori's return. I don't see Robert Whitaker boxing against the cage, which is something Vittori likes to do. He likes to walk his opponents down do damage with shots while their back is against the cage. And while he has them there, he'll try to go for a takedown. Don't see that happening to Whitaker. Whitaker's too smart and he moves too well. So in this fight, I think Robert Whitaker will win a decision, fairly dominant decision. Again, in and out style, beating Vittori to the punch, outstriking him, being too elusive and quick. If I had to put a ratio on it, I'm gonna say Robert Whitaker 70-30. Can Vittori win? Sure, Vittori's super tough, he's dangerous. You never know, it's MMA. But my money would be on Robert Whitaker. Not to sound redundant, I don't think Vittori would be able to take him down. I think Whitaker would dictate where the fight takes place. And I think he's too elusive, too quick, and too good footwork to get caught by Marvin Vittori. But that's gonna wrap up this quick breakdown. You guys let me know in the comment section who takes this fight and why. Would you like to see it? Would you be excited for it? Thanks for watching the segment. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button, like and share, important. Appreciate that guys, and I'll catch you all on the next breakdown. If this one goes down, we'll come back and talk about it as usual. Thanks so much guys, take care.